could have gone to Duke. And I'm sure some of the other guys could have gone to Duke. So, I mean, we're not intimidated by their brains. I mean, yeah. Your brain is one of the one of the biggest things that you have, so you might as well go ahead and use them. So a high GPA could relate to a high scoring average? Yeah, yep. <laughs> How's it working for you? Uh, I'm averaging 10 points, so... <laughs> <laughs> What's in a name? Well, there's some pretty good ones here at the Final Four. And the best of the lot, maybe in the entire nation, is KU sophomore Adonis Jordan. The best name. It's the best name. Well, I, I don't know where he got the name. I would have to explore that. Well, how about Curry? That's not exactly your that's most familiar name. No, that's a family name. But is Adonis a family name? I don't know. Fa family of Greek gods, I guess. <laughs> what does it mean? A Greek god of love. And how'd you get it? <laughs> My mom, I guess, she just, when she saw me, she just said, this is a lovely young child. I'm going to name him Adonis. So you have to live up to that, right? No, oh, not really. I just got to come out and play if, if my name can take me. Well, I mean socially, you have to live oh. up to that. <laughs> I hope I can. I hope I can. Yeah. That's the first thing I tell the girls, though. With Alonzo Jameson, the Jayhawks lead the nation in great first A names. Yeah, I think my dad actually named me. Um, he might have been, he might have been drinking at the time because I, I, they told me I was like a 14-hour kid, so he had to do something to, to, pre to prepare his time. North Carolina counters with King Rice, who will pair off against Jordan tomorrow. Duke has Christian Leitner to go against Las Vegas. Among the coaches, Tark the Shark of Vegas has the best moniker. Mike Shishetsky of Duke has the most confusing, and one he promised to change if Duke lost last year in the NCAA's. Yeah, it's Smith. Uh... I did it for a while, and then I got all these calls from Chapel Hill, so I went back to Krzyzewski. Smith was already taken by Dean at Carolina, known as El Dino by the Smart Alec Press. Roy Williams has no nickname, but that's as it should be. Kansas has been pretty much a no-name team all season. They'll try to further make a name for themselves tomorrow afternoon. Until our special coming along a little later, this is Ron Paradis, 13 sports from Indianapolis, Indiana, side of the Final Four. some 20 ball games last year, but has been coming off the bench. In fact, made the all big eight bench team. There's, this is Scott getting it into Randall. Give and go. There it is. Well, I would have taken a good catch of the ball. Oh, Woodbury underneath to Randall. And get good shots off each possession. Jameson. So Ron, the team that nobody thought could beat Indiana or Arkansas is now headed to Indianapolis for the Final Four. And what a performance by KU's Alonzo Jameson. It's going to be about the best game you've played at Kansas, wouldn't you say? I think it is, but um, hopefully it's not over. Maybe I can get another game like this in the Final Four. Has it sunk in yet? Uh, not, not me, maybe everybody else, but it'll probably hit me tonight when I'm sleeping. We came out in the second half, and we really picked up the, the momentum on our side anyway and uh, got back in the game quick, and I think they started feeling a little bit of pressure. Did they change the name defensively on you in the second half after you had a big... I, I had a lot of wide open shots in the second half. I just missed them. I could convert. Um, you know, it, it's like I said, the first half things were falling well for me. In the second half, they didn't. So it's just one of those nights. I think our guys thought that game was basically we got them. All we got to do is just go play 20 minutes now. Whereas the Kansas teams, hey, they 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 don't they don't have that pressure. If you lose, they're supposed to lose. But if you win, it's a tremendous upset. It's, it's still, it didn't hit me yet. I get, I don't know. It, it feels good. It feels good. I know in a couple of hours when we get back to Lawrence, and there's going to be thousands of people there. And, oh, man, it's, it's a great feeling. This is what I've been dreaming about when I was small, playing in the playgrounds, and it feels good. Uh, being in Indiana and Arkansas, you know, back to back, that uh, means something. Who's <laughs> Probably the best bunch of competitors I've ever been around. I mean, you know, we were down. Uh, 12 at half, we're down at half at Missouri, we're down at half at Kansas State. Uh, but it doesn't make any difference as long as you execute. So, Ron, the Kansas Jayhawks season did not end here in Charlotte like many had expected. It continues on now to the Final Four in Indianapolis. And they await the winner of the North Carolina Temple matchup. KU will play next Saturday in Indy.
from Charlotte, North Carolina, Greg Sharp, 13 Sports.